what advice do you have for any aspiring writers, creators, artists, uh, editors, whatever, whatever you do if you want to break into comics? What advice do you have? You got to believe. Uh, you got to believe to a level of delusion. Uh, I think that there's so many no's out there, and it's it's really hard to break in. And you're going to find these – you don't quit. That's not how it happens. But what happens is it eats away at your resolve and your dedication to do these crafts. And when it eats away at you slowly, you find yourself just putting in a little less time this week. Or maybe you just don't dive as deep. And that, you don't think anyone's noticing because you are you just didn't write today. So no one noticed, right? But they are noticing because people are, are we're all tuned into each other's story subconsciously. When we see someone post something or share something or exp um, expose something, we remember the last time. And so we're, we're keeping track in our heads of the story that, each other is unfolding. And if you say that you want to do this thing, but over time your story doesn't reflect that because you're, you're secretly kind of hiding this doubt and not sure, that I think that, that comes across. And I think the, the, all you can do is just, no matter how hard it seems or how, how much no you get, um, and this is not to say this is to say, assuming for a minute that you're constantly evolving and, and trying to teach yourself and learn, you can't just be like, I'm not listening. This is not about not listening to feedback. Or this is not about not educating yourself or trying to be better. But this is about how much energy you put into, into these endeavors. I think you just have to continue to pump energy into the endeavors. And I, I think that also comes from, it's also very dangerous to try to put all your eggs in one creative basket. I'm just going to do this one thing. I'm not going to I have my 20 issue, 30, 50, 60 issue opus, and I'm not going to let anyone see it until I do all 60 issues here in my basement. That's It's crazy because it, it takes so much time, and then by the time you're done with that, the people are going to look at it and be like, you took no one's feedback, and so you didn't grow yeah. at all, and you have to, if you're going to grow, you have to let people read it. They have to let them say, hey, uh, that didn't make any sense. But th those people are, are f when a creator goes into that place, they're functioning on a big misconception, which is in order to break in, you need to have your thing, the thing that breaks you in. And that's not true. You are the thing that breaks in. And the more you can just keep putting out stuff and content, small content, content that just continues to get you seen and shared and tells the story that you are a creator and you and I are not going anywhere. You are here to create, edit, color, letter, whatever you're here to do, you're just going to keep doing it. And if no one seems to be paying attention, you don't care. Yeah. If people are saying, no, it's not good enough, you don't care, you're still going. Believe in yourself and, and, and just keep at it and uh, continue to create and put stuff out there. I, I mean, because it's all you can control. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to get. Uh, I we were you're talking about this. You gotta get lucky. Yep, and uh, that's what it is. You create your own luck in a way. I think because you can go out there and you have to pound on that door a hundred times before you break in. And but you have to be the one pounding yeah. out there. It's then that you know you can get it on your first try. You pound on the door, they open yeah. it right up. But people can... people who know me uh, know I'm a poker player. Yeah, I got I got the cards. <laughs> I play uh, every week. I was a poker dealer. Mm -hmm. uh, poker is life to me. And uh, it is it, 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 the equation works with poker, which is to say, if you want to win a tournament, and we're talking about winning a tournament here, you got to play a lot of tournaments. You got to play a lot of hands. You cannot put all of your eggs into one hand. You cannot sit at the table and just wait to get aces. You got to play lots of hands. You got to try to mix it up. You got to yeah. try to do lots of things. And if you lose, you got to come back and do it again and again and again and again. And you will win. And someone will go, How did you win that tournament? And you go, I played 100 tournaments before that. And I never stopped coming. How did it happen so fast for you? It didn't happen fast, but it might seem like it happened fast because I never stopped playing. I kept playing and playing and playing, and finally I won. I love it. That's 100% yeah. true. I'm a huge poker fan myself. and Yes. And uh, I love it. You got to make your own luck, and, and sometimes you got to play the cards. You got Yeah, you got to play the cards. You got to keep at it. You can't, you, and you can't give up. I mean, po people lose poker. People lose. Uh, nights or tournaments because they go on tilt yeah. and going on tilt is not that you accidentally 
scratch your ear when you have the winning hand or that you do something stupid. Going on tilt is losing focus and belief in yourself. And I felt it. You're in a situation and normally you would do what you would normally do, but you're just feeling a little more anxious about it or feeling a little doubtful about it. And you just say, F it. And you, you do something else and you lose, you lose everything, you know, and you go, why? I thought there was a chance that flush would come, but in retrospect, it was a bad, you shouldn't have put it all. You shouldn't have done that, but you made a decision you wouldn't normally make. Yeah. And, and in, in creative careers, you cannot go on tilt. you have to continue. I mean, it's natural. It happens, but you have to find your center again and, and work at it and, and write it, it and, and create every day and keep at it and keep, keep promoting yourself and, and, and relationships and everything. I love it. 